up guys, it's Chachi Power here with Rocket Punch Army to do a review of the Transformers Generations Cliff Jumper. This is part of the uh, Asian exclusive GDO line of figures that were brought here from Asia for us to enjoy. This one here in particular is Cliff Jumper. Uh, we're going to start off by checking out the um, artwork there. You'll see it's got the G1 Cliff Jumper looking head there with the Prime Cliff Jumper body, which I thought was kind of weird, but we're just going to see the back here it's got a little bit about cliff jumper here you'll see him in robot mode and vehicle mode now it's kind of weird that they're mixing up these uh, for the GDOs mixing up uh, G1s with modern stuff but it's really weird that they're mixing up a G1 figure with a prime figure so I don't know we're gonna have to see how how uh, how this stacks up to the rest of the transformer line all right, so now that we have him here in vehicle mode, you'll also notice that I've got three other cliff jumpers in the background. Two of them are Terracons. One is the first edition one. Uh, the other one is a Takara Terracon uh, cliff jumper with the clear purple, which is awesome. And then we got the regular uh, R.I.D. Prime uh, cliff jumper. Now, personally, I like the first edition version better. I think the transformation is a little more intricate. It looks higher quality, which is why I'm really glad they did the... Uh, the Generations version using the first edition mold. Uh, I think if it had been that one, I, I would have not liked it at all. Um, and what's what's a shame really is I, I own a lot of cliff jumpers, but all in the prime line. Well, maybe this is not a lot of cliff jumpers, but to me to own uh, one character out of a show I'm not really into. Um, you know, me coming from a G1 background. I don't know, I think this is a lot. But uh, yeah, in any case, we're going to review this because it does have a G1 head, even though it's the same as the other ones I reviewed. So just in case you're not uh, too familiar with this actual mold, this may be your first time seeing a Cliff Jumper review. Um, it's sort of like a retro style uh, muscle car. You got the big wheel in the back, the smaller wheel in the front. You got the painted exhaust pipes on the side. You got the silver bumper here. You got the grill that's painted with clear blue. Uh, headlights and then you got a rubber horn so you guys don't poke your eyes out and clear blue plastic windows on this one right and underneath you'll see all the little bits and pieces so now we can move ahead to transformation so let me just grab the instruction sheet been a while since I did this so we're going to pull the sides out like this here and on that side and then bring them forward bring the hood up flip this little crotch piece up and you want to get it out of the way completely like this because what you have to do next is spin this and you kind of have to make sure it clears everything because it will bang up in certain places just work it around like that then the little teensy weensy uh, window panels here you just fold in bring these feet out like this then you gotta fold these halves together which are going to form the leg like that and like that and you're going to want to split the roof section like this split this like that then these pieces go up over the rear window. Unfold the arms this way. Then there's some panels you got to fold right around here. All right, grab uh, his little head here, which we're going to check out in a second because it's actually a really cool sculpt. All right, uh, let's see what's going on back here. All right, this back piece goes up, but there's these little fender pieces that I always forget, and I had forgotten to do it for a long time. And then, like, like, I always wondered why it looked weird. But before you can fold these out, there's these little side pieces here, which are like that, all right? Fold these in all the way, which gives clearance for this to come uh, down and around. So once that's like that, you're going to tab this right to the back here. You can always move the head to bring the that hole into position. Then that tabs right in, thus allowing this part to come forward. And to give this proper clearance, you want to fold this up like that. All right, now this can properly come forward and around. And then if you did everything right, this should line up to this. Now you'll notice this little middle piece has a little nub that goes right in between the window crack here, which gives it the space there. And it's just a matter of uh, just adjusting everything where it goes. This apparently has really stiff shoulders. Wow, very stiff shoulders, all right? Uh, the arms are kind of offset, so you want to straighten it out like that. All right, like that. The legs also are kind of offset, so you want to straighten those out. It's a tad stubborn. It's a brand new toy, but 
eventually you'll get it. And there's Cliff Jumper. Um, now pictures, originally, the pictures I had seen, uh, I just was telling myself this does not really match the figure, this head. Um, but uh, I don't know, I guess seeing it here, uh, somehow it works. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh, what the hell, what are you talking about? But, you know, if you own it and you still think that, then, you know, cool. But uh, if you don't own it, I, I suggest check it out, see what you think in person. Yeah, of course, it still has the prime body. It's kind of hard to ignore the G1 head. But uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad, I think. I'm actually uh, pleasantly surprised. I thought I was not going to like this at all. As a matter of fact, I only got this to be able to review for you guys. And now it looks like I do like it. So now I can join the rest of my Cliff Jumper collection. All right. Because honestly, guys, I don't like the the prime looking head. It looks like a bull, really. It's got a bull face, which should be cool. Just not digging it. Not don't really dig the uh, bull faces. But this one, uh, I think overall, maybe it's just the fact that it has a G1 head that makes me like it. I don't know. I really couldn't tell you guys. I tend to get biased sometimes when uh, things touch my nostalgia, which this happens to, which just because of the head. But um. Yeah, so uh, if you have any questions or comments, guys, leave them below. Subscribe if you like my videos. Check out all the other videos. Some are much better than others. Some suck, but still check them out. Uh, and till next time, guys, bye-bye. <laughs>